Hey friends, I'm here today bringing you another fun video and today we are going to be talking about stencils. So with stencils, um, there's many things you can do and many of you are very familiar with stencils. Um, the most common ones I think many of you use are probably Tim Holtz stencils. Um, he's got two different sizes. You have the regular size and these ones are perfect for tags and cards. Um, but there's many other different varieties. I also use ones from uh, Donna Downey and Simple Stories and Brutus Malone and uh, there's so many different ones, uh, different companies that make stencils. I'm also going to show you how you can make your own and uh, I've made quite a few of my own and those are a lot of fun so I'll show you that as well. So hopefully you come by, you watch and you stick with this video and uh, you can learn a thing or two and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, so back here showing you some of our things. So I'll show you a few of the different um, Tim Holt stencils I will be using. Here's a few of them. This is the smaller. So we will be showing you a few things using some of these stencils. Hopefully some of you guys have used some of these things and this isn't totally unfamiliar to you, but for many people this very well could be. So bear with me here. I'm going to show you just on a plain piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. And the first thing I'm going to show you with this is inking, which many of you probably are very familiar with. I'm not going to be creating a layout per se with this but I will be showing you just some different techniques and things you can do with this. So I'm going to be using the Distress Oxide. This is Blueprint Sketch from Tim Holtz. Use your mini blender. Let's go in a circular motion. Again, this is the Distress Oxide. So it, um, it's pretty fun to work with these. Um, you can put a little bit of water on them. That will be for another video, but I highly recommend watching Tim Holtz's distressing videos that he just created. He shows everything you can do with those. So that's one thing you can do. And look how easy and simple that was to add to any kind of a layout or an art journal or anything mixed media. So that's one idea to create. And all you needed was your stencil. And these stencils, you can do so many things with them. And that was with these. Okay, so our next thing that we're going to create using a stencil, we are going to use, let's see, maybe we'll use some modeling paste. And this is just a small one, but this is with uh, Finnevar's, the Art Basics modeling paste, and you could use this pretty much with anything, um, any other kind of brand. One thing you can do with this too, and I've done this many times, is you can, because this is just white, you can change the color of it. And this is going to be another video that I will be showing down the road, but I will show you a little bit now how you can change the color of modeling paste. So I'm going to just put a little bit on here. So a little dabble of that. And I will add this is a little bit older, but you can do this with any of the Distress Sprays. Um, this is the Tattered Angels Glam ink. But uh, you could do this with anything really. Any sprays. These are some of the other ones you could have done it with, like Distress Sprays. Um, with pretty much anything, but I'm going to do it with this one here because it was just sitting here. Then you grab some kind of a palette knife or any kind of a tool like that and so you just mix it and it's and basically I'm just doing this basically to show you um, how you can mix these but so when I put it on you can actually see it so it's not just white on white so I'm again going to use the same stencil and I'm just going to put this next to it you can see this and you can 
go however far you want. Sometimes I try to stay just in the middle so it doesn't have that defining line, unless you're on the edge of your paper. Make it as thin as you can so it dries faster, or you can use your heat tool, which I'm not going to do today, but you can. And then you just lift it off, and voila. So that's using the same stencil, you get two different effects. So that's with the distress oxides, and this is with the modeling paste. So there's that option. Another option you have is with, and I will use this one here, acrylic paints. So I mean, same thing, as you know. Um, Many of you have used acrylic paints. Probably not many of you haven't in some way, shape, or form. So I am going to use that. Got out my trusty paintbrush. And away we go. So this is again another option. And with this, I try and pat it a little bit as much as possible so you're not pulling that stencil away. So you can just pat it down. I'm only going to do just a little bit on this one because you'll get the idea. And it comes out really cool. So that's that one. I put a little bit too much C. I showed you how when you like rub it, it doesn't really work. But when you blot it around the edges, it pops up nicely. So there's that one. And I will show you. What else can I show you? I will show you a little bit of gesso maybe. So I will use some black gesso. And I'm going to use the Dina Wakely black gesso for that. I'm just going to clean up our little bit of a mess. All right. So, oops, missed that. All right. So, I'm going to use the stars one. And again, this is just a demo to show you, so I'm not using huge quantities. And with the black gesso, just kind of give you some ideas. Black gesso is um, like a primer, works great. Um, with black gesso too, it's also thicker. It's it's like I said, a, like a primer. It's great to starting canvases with. I use it on all of my art journal pages. I just prefer it. But it um, it's thicker than paint, and it works great. So I'll put on three stars to give you an idea, and that's the black gesso. So those are some ideas. And now to show you. How you can make your own and it's very very simple okay so I'm going to hand hold this time just to show you how this is done these are some of the stencils that uh, I have created myself um, using my silhouette all you need is a cutting machine whether it be a silhouette a Cricut or brother whatever you choose and Yupo paper for those of you who have never used Yupo paper Yupo paper is a plastic paper used um, primarily with alcohol inks to create alcohol ink projects, but it works great for using your silhouette. And uh, I will show you that. Here is my silhouette machine. I have a Cameo 3, and I just put my Yupo paper right in the corner here, and it's a 5x7, 5 width seven long 
and I pop it in the machine and I make all of my my awesome stencils that way and it works wonderful. For those of you that have a silhouette machine, um, this is the Silhouette Studio and these are some of the stencils that I've downloaded and put into my system that I can actually create and there's quite a few and three of those are the ones I'm showing you today that I have used and made projects with and I will show you those projects. So this is my art journal page I did. Um, I actually did this page about my dad when he was younger and uh, his car. This car actually I did on the Mink Machine. We will have a future video using the Mink Machine. Um, but this stencil here that I created using the UPO paper, like I said, was used up here. And then this stencil that I created, I haven't even cleaned it yet to show you. I did down here and I used um, alcohol ink, uh, or sorry, oxy distress oxides. So I used distress oxides on that one. This one here I used paint. So those are two different options and I mean these work great. You can use little bits of pieces of your stencils or the whole thing. I used a little bit here. So uh, that's one option to use. Um, I highly recommend it. You get so many different ideas and things just from finding things yourself on the net um, and putting it into your system, um, whether it be your own cut files or for um, purchasing off of any of the cut fire programs. I hope this video was of some use and some help to you for you using stencils to maybe getting the most use out of your stencils that you possibly can. Um, we will be doing some tutorial videos down the road using some of these options and uh, showing you how to actually cut your own stencils. Leave a message and let me know if that's something that might be of interest to you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube and to like this page on Facebook. And uh, come and join every Sunday at 4. New videos are loaded and uh, I hope you enjoy them. Give me some ideas of what you would like to see. I have lots in the makings right now and uh, I just hope that you enjoy them and you have fun creating and we will have more live videos um, coming up and live feeds so we can create together. So I hope you have a great day and take care.